Welcome back to Base Sunday now. San Francisco is hosting the 36th annual LGBT International Film Festival. Some groundbreaking films, documentaries, features, and some touching short films as well. It's the world's oldest and largest LBGT film festival, three plus decades old, all meant to strengthen the diverse lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. So let's chat about it with executive director Casey Price and filmmaker Julie Wyman. Folks, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Frank, for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. Well, it, it kicks off here uh, on Thursday, right? Next Thursday, week? Thursday, June 14th. Well, Correct. how excited are you guys to get this thing going? Oh, we've been working on it all year, and each year it's just another amazing show case of over 200 films from all across the globe uh, that we're so pr uh, proud to present to uh, the community and to the general public. And Julie, I, we've been talking, you've been working on, a, on your documentary for seven plus years. That's right. And it's called Strong Exclamation Point. That's right. Tell us what it's about and how thrilled are you to have the West Coast finally get a peek at this? I'm so excited to bring Strong to Frameline. It's a festival I love. Um, Strong is kind of a coming of age story about a elite athlete, about um, Olympic medalist Cheryl Hayworth, who um, has competed in three Olympics, was the 12 for the national champion for 12 consecutive years. And my film kind of looks at her grappling with the end of her career, with trying to hold on to her champion status as she encounters injury and kind of grows up and comes into her own as a. As and we're a not person. talking an old woman here. She's what, in her 30s, I guess? <laughs> She's now 29, I believe. 29. Yeah. And you started when she was 21. 21. Okay. Seven plus years. We got a clip from the documentary and we'll let you talk about it afterwards. Here is Strong. Exclamation point. One of the greatest competitors of all time. Of all sports. Blast. Cheryl Hayworth is taking the nation by storm. By 15, she was American national champion. By 17, Cheryl was in the Olympics. Went to Sydney and brought home the bronze. Being big, it definitely has its advantages. A lot of work right there, huh? Yep. What's it, when you watch some of this, does it just make your heart just fill with glory just because you worked so hard on this and you finally got the finished product? It's really exciting to complete a project that, um, and, a, and a journey um, like this to get to know uh, a person who inspired me so much and to bring her image and her story to a bigger public. And Casey, this is just one of many films over 200 people will be able to see? Right, and one of 32 documentary feature length documentaries we're screening this year. Um, we're actually for the first time in 20 years opening with a documentary as well uh, called Vito about the life of activist and uh, film author Vito Russo. It's a really excellent documentary as well that's going to be our opening night film on June 14th. And how do people, where, where are the screenings? Where can they go watch? Uh, our main venues that we use are the Castro, Roxy, and Victoria Theaters in San Francisco, uh, and we also screen at the Rialto Elmwood in Berkeley as well. And uh, this is 36 years strong. How has the LGBT movement in movies changed over the last three decades? Mm. Well, the biggest uh, thing that we hear about the change in films is that the quality of them increases year after year after year. So we just have a better uh, group of films. Uh, the quality of filmmaking is improving. Um, and the breadth and diversity of the films is really uh, uh, increasing as well. How, did, how many films are entered? How did they make the cut? in the well, film festival? We receive about 600 submissions to the festival. Um, I'd say about three to 400 of those are short films, um, and the rest are feature length narratives and documentaries. Uh, we have screening committees, and then we have a wonderful uh, group of staff members who go through all those entries. And you put in how many hours? And you're doing oh. seven years of work, seven, 200 hours of, of film. Footage. I mean, it's been my it's been my life for yeah. the past many years, and um, it. Can you, you know, put a number on that? Ten thousand. I mean, how could you? I mean, you it's a good question. Um, yeah, that, millions of hours. I would like to say. <laughs> I don't know if that totals up correctly, but. Um, you know, it, it's all worth it. It sort of boils down to 75 minutes of getting to see um, in depth the life of a really unique woman and a unique Olympian. 
Well, very good. Julie, we wish you all the best. Casey, thanks for thanks coming for in. That's right. Good luck with the festival. Thank you. 36th Annual San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival will take place June the 14th through June the 24th, 10 days. If you'd like more information, go online to uh, Frameline or the uh, film festival. Please visit frameline.org. That's it for this week's uh, edition of Bay Sunday. We're back next week, of course. We'll see you then in the meantime. Enjoy, everybody. Have a great week.